So the needle is on here, y'all. When I take this cap off, there's the needle. So <laughs> it's the day of my egg retrieval. don't mind me i look a little crazy i just came in from the gym but i got the box for one of my medications that came and it feels cold so i think it's one that needs to go into the refrigerator so i just wanted to open it with you guys just to show you how it comes and i have to take this tonight for the first time at 7 p.m and i'll do that for the next 10 days but um yeah so let's open this box really quick <laughs> set up everything to give myself my first injections i'm sure i'm not going to be giving the exact proper way like i'm not a nurse but i'll let you guys know how i did it and it can be a little bit confusing because they give you so much stuff and when i was learning it from who was teaching me it was kind of all over the place because she had so much laid out in front of her and i'm like okay what exactly do i need like i just feel like she should have showed me with only the things you need so i don't want to show you guys when um everything is just kind of all over the place i'll give you a look at what's going on right now so like this is everything that i need um they even give you a hazard box for the needles that's just a look at it the first time and then i'll show you guys more neatly as i'm getting it out but honestly right now i didn't really know what i was doing i still don't know like i'm on the first injection like i have it together <laughs> i'm nervous i'm so nervous um I hope I can do it because you're supposed to take it between 7 and 9 p.m. I thought I was going to take it at 7, but I didn't know I had to like really, really set everything up. I have something sitting here that I don't even know if I need. Like there's just so much stuff and um, I just feel like it wasn't explained that well to me. So I had to go online, of course. I found a video that shows me how to set everything up. So I have my first injection set up. I'll let you guys watch me. Um, do that <laughs> we'll see if i could do it i hope i could do it so my doctor's office they do offer you to get your injection by them for 75 dollars for the 10 days so it'll be like 70 or 750 dollars which i was totally down with but like i would have to go right now and it's a half an hour away and i really don't feel like doing that but i said if the first day don't go well i'll go to them and honestly if i can't do it right now I can call my mom she knows how to um do injections but i really want to be able to do it myself so i can just go in the refrigerator get the stuff boom boom and be done you know i don't want to have to get up and drive you know i just already took my shower and everything like i'm not trying to leave right now and then i was even googling if they had like travel nurses that would come and do it for me but i didn't really find anything so here i am trying to figure it out um, I have like the um, the cartridge in here with what I'll be injecting myself and I have to dial up to the dosage which is 225 so I'm just gonna do that I'm learning right now <sighs> so the needle is on here y'all when I take this cap off there's the needle so let me um uh, most people do this in their stomach, but for some reason they told me in my arm or my thigh and I feel like my thigh Because like how am I gonna do it in my arm like? Uh, -uh that's just not gonna work for me. So I'm gonna do my thigh wait I don't know how I'm gonna show you guys because that's a little x-rated <laughs> like Wait, let me just watch one more thing and then I'm gonna do it medication you're to take that sticks out on the dial and then you're gonna go in at a 90 degree angle to give yourself the injection all right here we go <gasps> all right dang y'all can't even see the um here we go old school with it wait can does that even help no let's just do this like <sighs> i gotta do this like I don't know if I can do this, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. And then I have another one after this, y'all. Okay, here we go. Why did I do that? Why did I just tap my skin with it so I know how it's gonna feel like? 
Okay, wait, my hands are sweating. Oops, I'm not supposed to put this down. Sorry, y'all, I need a break. I need to get myself together. Okay, dang, we going on nine minutes right now and I haven't even done anything. Let me just do this. Should I put music on? Like, I don't know what's gonna help me. Ooh. I did it like that low-key did not hurt wait yeah there's blood I did it. oh okay how do I remove the needle hold on let me turn this lady back on if it says zero that means you've received all yeah. the medication put the cap on to remove the needle make sure you push down tightly and then twist off wait wait why is it not coming off Oh, okay came off so boom put this in the hazard thing first one done so i got one more to do but this is like the old school one it does not have the pen i think this is super easy um this one i gotta like mix up and everything <sighs> oh my gosh my heart be in Okay, need a drink to that. I can't believe I did that, y'all. <laughs> that was my first injection ever in my life. Because if you guys remember from like my surgery video, my mom gave me my injections. Those had to be in the stomach though. I feel like, I guess I might be able to do that, but I don't know, the leg, it, it was scary too so this one there's no video i'm just going off of what i remember which is oh, wait this is powder this is like a uh, sodium chloride but she was saying water we got this i just hope i'm doing this right i hope i'm getting the medicine they might be like girl we can't tell you've been taking the medicine or not wait so this this needle look a little more needly, like, I don't know, the other one is so small. Y'all take the little cap thing off and then, so you can see like this, then put the needle in there. Oh my gosh, I just tapped the needle on this. Dang. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, so the needle is in here. Wait, a whole one? Oh shit, it's going back in. How the hell do they be doing this? Wait. See, this is, are we supposed to be doing this ourselves? Like, I feel like we need professionals. So now, okay, shook this up. It's not a powder anymore. Now I'm supposed to inject this. She did tell me this was gonna sting, so I'm a little bit more nervous for this, but like I said, I'm a nurse now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, but here we go. Ooh, oops. Oh shit, okay. Ugh, I don't know what to do. I hope we are doing this right because I'm not trying to be wasting it. This, these medications was expensive. We'll talk about that later, but. Oh. to get this done at 7 is 8 19 now so my time to do this is gonna be 8 I'm gonna start setting myself up at like 7 ish but that's the end so tomorrow I got the hang of this so I will take the time to show you exactly what's going on oh, oh wait that's just the water I don't think I think I'll be okay Hopefully. They ought to know people be messing up on this. Like, do we? I'm doing the best I can. I'm out here doing the best I can. Yeah, so I'm just gonna clean up and 
I'm gonna go lay down now because I just washed my sheets and I'm so excited. I love getting into a clean bed. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. We're not done. We are not done. So I have to give my injections to myself for the next 10 days. Day one down, nine more to go. <laughs> I'm late like I'm supposed to be at my appointment like right now today all we're gonna do is an ultrasound I I guess they're gonna just see if like the medications that I've been taking are working so yeah like it's like cool like I'm even though I'm not really doing this to have a baby right now which most people do they're kind of preparing I just feel like it's like an experiment like it's cool like I'm like oh okay like you know the eggs are getting bigger or whatever the case but yeah so um yeah I'll let you guys know what happens okay so done with the blood work and the ultrasound I'm just waiting to talk with my coordinator and she's gonna tell me if I need to add on another medication. You know how I said I will be doing three injections soon. So um, I'm waiting to hear that. But everything went well in the ultrasound and she said that she noticed that they are growing. I say growing um, because they're like trying to make them mature to all be good to take out. <laughs> It's Wednesday night and it's 10 p.m. and this is the night of my last injection. So I think in my in the last time I recorded, I said that I was going to have a nurse do the last injection. Honestly, I don't think they really wanted to do my injections. Like, I think they want you to do it because I would have to go at 10 p.m. Like, who's gonna be at the facility at 10 p.m. or who's gonna come back at 10 p.m. to do one little injection on me, you know what I mean? But I feel like if I'm paying, somebody should have came and do it. I've given myself a total, like over 10 injections in these last day, couple days, you know, because I was doing, yes, about, cause it was 10 days, I did two a night and then this, the last, Four, three or four days I did three injections so yeah now I have to do one last one but the needle is this kind of needle and the rest I'm used to doing this size it's like shorter I'm a little bit nervous because I'm I it has to go all the way in to get the medicine in they're like it we need the medicine to go into the muscle then I have to wake up early in the morning to go over there to get my blood drawn and they need to see if I inject if I injected the medicine right like they need to see it inside my bloodstream I guess y'all I've been sitting here all day waiting until 10 p.m. like just watching the clock basically you have to do it in your hip or your butt and I feel like my hip will be easier for me to reach rather than turning and you know because I already I don't really know how, what I'm doing. So I have to put these two together. If you go through this and you don't like giving yourself injections, definitely have one of your nurse friends or somebody help you out. Somebody be on deck. Cause if, oh, oh. I thought 
this was glass. I thought it was gonna shatter. Oh my God, thank you God. Let me start playing and get this together. <laughs> to stick the needle in but it does i don't know whatever the medication is like i could feel it like it's really sore but that was the last one so <laughs> i basically graduated from injections if you guys ever need help and you're in the las vegas area just kidding seriously i feel like i could y'all it feels like my i hope i did that right because it just feels like sore. I'm not done with needles though because I have to get my blood drawn in the morning and then they're gonna have to stick the IV. I don't know if they're gonna have to, I don't think they're gonna draw my blood on Friday. But you know the IV, that's the worst. But usually when I get that, I'm getting surgery. So that little pain is like nothing. This is, I'm getting surgery, but not really. And it's not like a surgery I wanna get. So it's like, but <laughs> you know, well, I do wanna get this. You know what I mean? Like it's not no, you know, when I wake up, it's gonna be the same. The same precautions as if I was having surgery. No like lotions or anything that day, no jewelry. You can't eat um, at midnight the night before. I need to go to bed early because I do wanna walk um, in the morning because I haven't been able to go to the gym, like train or anything, like lift weights or anything hard. You're only allowed to walk. And when I walked, I would just do like a, chill walk because they said like i didn't want to mess up anything because i've been doing all these injections paid crazy amount for these um medications and we'll get into the pricing and all that stuff but when i was walking like i really was like walking like slow no crazy incline no nothing so but i want to do that for the last time tomorrow because i'm gonna have to rest they said rest for two days so like I feel like Friday, Saturday, I'll be okay. Sunday, honestly, I feel like I'll be okay right after because it's not like I'm getting anything done, you know? It's just I have to wait for the anesthesia to wear off. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys when I go to my appointment tomorrow. Good morning, it's the day of my egg retrieval. And right now I'm just waiting for my ride to drop me off. I'm not nervous at all, like, about it i've been put under numerous times it's not that serious the worst part about it is um having to put the IV in and yeah you guys probably won't see that because by that time they'll probably take my camera away but i'm going to film as much as i can but that's where i'm headed and i think i'll be able to tell you about it later i won't be on like pain pills or anything like you know usual surgery so i'll pretty much i think i'll probably just need to sleep off like the anesthesia and that's really it it should be easy i'm hoping it's easy but okay so i'm gonna go downstairs and get my ride yes Hi, welcome. okay well, you're gonna get stuck in the traffic on Spring Mountain. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I don't wanna be <laughs> in the traffic. <laughs> One of the last needles you guys see me inject myself you have seen me get my blood drawn and now i'm getting the iv but i'm not gonna film her because i want her to focus <laughs> so i just gotta look, put some tape on you and i will use the paper tape, it's kind of okay? pulling yeah you're good. You're good. Okay. So, antibiotics going. 
we're going to do, same as before, a little bit of nausea medication and a little bit of pain medicine. It's not a narcotic, so it shouldn't make you feel woozy or anything, but it's going to help. As you know, with these procedures, you get some cramping after. Okay. So, and this one's just going to feel cold when it goes in. Okay. Are any going to burn? The pain medication does get a little bit spicy. In the meantime, they're fun little leg warmers. Okay. Amanda, we're going to be on this today. There's another man there. <laughs> Partially it. Full bladder. All right, Tina, you're all set. You just give me a holler if you need Perfect. anything, okay? Thank you. So I'm just relaxing. I'm getting, you know, the IV. And like I said, I've told you guys, the worst part of any surgery, for me, the worst part of any surgery is just getting that IV in. And they got it on the first time. That was, that's the first time ever. Every time I've had surgery, they've had to pull it out. It's taken like two, three times. Like I would have the scars on top of my hands. But um, that was easy. And I feel fine. I feel good. And I'm just basically about to take a nap. And they're about to retrieve the eggs and put them in the freezer. My friend Ariel from the um, Mexico vlog is picking me up. If you haven't watched that vlog, make sure you watch that one after this one. And I'll see you guys when I wake up. Yay! <laughs> All done. <laughs> 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 Look who came to get me. Do you really have to will me? Yes. Like, oh, because I'm you like, guys are I can walk. Look at you. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I feel like I can walk you guys. It's really not this serious. But I'm just telling you guys, like, <laughs> don't think it's like that serious. I'm good. Tylenol for pain if needed today, okay? Okay, thank you so much. I'm back home, got my heating pad on. Um, they just said I should just be feeling cramps today. Um, also a little TMI, it might burn when I pee. And <laughs> there will be some um, spotting. So... Yeah, that's all I really expect today. I'll let you guys know what happens after the first 24. Oh, that's just supposed to last for the first 24 hours. The cramping, maybe a couple days. I'm not sure. But the burning when you pee, they said just the first day. So I'm a little bit nervous. I have not went to the bathroom since I've had my um, procedure. So I'm good right now. I do feel the cramping. It's not bad. It's nothing unbearable. I just have my heating pad on because it's just... I just like it everything it was a good experience um today it was quick i guess because i was asleep and i'm just glad it's over i won't know how many um actual eggs they have until about two or three weeks i think so yeah when I find out that information, I will let you guys know. If I ever want more, I can do that. But like, that's not really on my mind right now, especially if I don't even know if I'm going to be using these ones. So this one round, I think is good for me um, at this moment. So yeah, I'm just going to rest today. Everything should be cool by tomorrow. And I'll let you guys know. So I just wanted to get back on here and let you guys know that the procedure went well for me. I didn't have any sort of pain or anything. Like, I feel totally fine. The last thing they gave to me was this paper to create a portfolio on their website. And on this site, you're able to watch the whole process of like your eggs growing. You get to see exactly how many. But I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't that interested in watching the whole procedure of like the eggs growing and everything i kind of just wanted the procedure done mainly because i'm not actively trying to have a kid right now like i don't even know if these eggs will get used it was just kind of insurance i just knew it wasn't gonna happen tomorrow so i just kind of done it i wish i did it younger because i always knew that i did not want 
kids young. There's no serious pain involved, so don't be freaked out if you're thinking about doing this or you have to do it because I know some women, they actually have to go through this procedure. If I learn anything else new about what's going on with this procedure or you have any questions, just put it in my comments. I can ask my facility. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.